because summer seasons are approaching i decided to make a sunscreen video it has been a while since i posted any sunscreen related content if you know me for a while i am a huge sunscreen feature in this video i am going to be talking about six such sunscreen which i think are the best in the market all of them are completely fragrance and essential oil free so this is going to be my sunscreen wars if you are curious about what is sunscreen wars i am going to be comparing six such sunscreen which i think are the best if you are curious about the sunscreen then stay tuned Hey guys, if you are seeing this face for the very first time, hi, I'm Moitri Khaldar. I do make a lot of beauty and skincare related content mixed with a couple of contents that I really like. So if you are into that genre, then do consider subscribing and hitting on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. Also, do not forget to follow me in my social media accounts where I'm the most active and you get to be a part of what goes into my videos such as this one, including my Instagram where I do a couple of live sessions to answer back to all of your skincare or other concerns. Now, as summers are approaching, people are starting to remember the most important product that should should be applied 365 days aka the sunscreen and you guys have been requesting me a lot about sunscreen what are the best sunscreen available in india and i am going to do multiple sunscreen videos in the future don't worry but in this video this is going to be my sunscreen wars if you are not familiar with my sunscreen wars this is basically a comparison of me trying and testing out sunscreen and rating them according to some factors which are really beneficial and key to choosing the right type of sunscreen if you want to see similar video like this and me comparing other sunscreen and affordable sunscreen and sunscreen related content then i will link all the necessary timestamp including the product link and also my previous sunscreen wars and my sunscreen playlist in the bottom box below so make sure to check it i have six sunscreens that i'm going to compare and these are the criteria or the factors that i am going to be testing them on now all of the criteria that i would be judging them and rating them would be based on my skin type which is combination sensitive and reactive now before going into the factor itself i am going to be introducing you guys with the six sunscreen that i'm going to be talking about in this video the first one we have is the face skin spf juice which is spf 50 plus pa 4 plus is this is a broad spectrum sunscreen and it is for all skin types coming on to the next sunscreen which is from dermaco and this is that one percent hyaluronic sunscreen aqua gel which is spf 50 and pa 4 plus is obviously all of the sunscreen are broad spectrum and it also claims to have blue light protection coming on to the next sunscreen which is from earth rhythm and it is that ultra defense hybrid sun fluid it is spf 50 and pa 4 pluses coming on to the next sunscreen which is from flux and this is a face guard silicone sunscreen gel which is spf 50 plus and pa 3 pluses it mentions the critical wavelength as 374 mm coming on to the fifth sunscreen which is from sun scoop and this is that invisible sunscreen it is spf 40 and pa 3 pluses and lastly the sixth sunscreen is from pulp and this is that mvp sunscreen or mvv primer plus sunscreen this is spf 50 and pa 4 pluses coming on to the first factor which is the texture and this is the most important factor because if you don't like the texture you won't really feel like applying it and choosing the right sunscreen is essential and crucial because sunscreen is something that you should apply every single day and if you don't like the texture itself you won't feel like applying it i'm going to be rating all of them but first i will talk about individual texture itself because it is the most important criteria now coming on to the first sunscreen which is from face skin and this is their spf juice so this particular sunscreen is a very lightweight almost like serum to gel kind of moisturizer the base suns the texture itself is very lightweight and it absorbs beautifully on your skin coming on to the next sunscreen which is from dermaco this also has a very similar texture in terms of the fair beauty but it is a little bit creamier than the fair beauty one but it is equally lightweight it blends beautifully and it also gives you the dewy glow coming on to the next sunscreen which is from earth rhythm again very similar in texture at the first two ones this also has a very nice lightweight texture with a little bit of creaminess to it it absorbs absorbs within seconds and it also gives you again that dewy finish that we always crave for all of the sunscreen are non-greasy and non-sticky this particular one is the most lightweight sunscreen it also has that gel based moisturizer kind of a finish and when you apply it it also is very cooling now coming on to the next sunscreen which is from twaksh and this particular sunscreen is a very silicone based sunscreen and if you are searching for a matte sunscreen this is a truly matte sunscreen now silicone sunscreen are are meant to have that matte finish and it is also sometimes food filling it does give you a matte finish but it also absorbs quickly and it doesn't leave that greasy feeling at all coming on to the second last sunscreen which is the invisible sunscreen now this is the most innovative sunscreen in the list because this i believe it is the first or at least i came across such 
sunscreen in India. Now, Super Goop is a company that is really famous for its invisible sunscreen. You know, sunscreen that looks like a serum or looks like this transparent gel or aloe vera gel. This particular sunscreen is very similar to the Super Goop one, and this is also a silicone based sunscreen. Once you apply it, it does give you a matte finish, but it does has a slightly slippery feeling to it. I think most oily skin people would hate it, but if you are normal to combination skin, this is a perfect one because it sits beautifully under makeup and it also acts as a primer. Talking about primer, the last sunscreen in the list from Pulp is really great because it is kind of like a primer and a sunscreen. This one is also silicone based, but it is not truly invisible. It has a little bit of white tint to it, but once you apply it, it gives you that pore blurring finish. It can like replace your primer totally because it is a silicone based sunscreen, but it doesn't give you that matte finish. It has a little bit of glow in it. And these are the ratings in terms of their texture. Coming on to the next criteria, which is layering. After texture comes the layering part because sunscreen is something you should apply every two hours and it is very crucial for you to apply sunscreen and reapply it. So layering is the key. All of the sunscreens layer beautifully, but some are better than the other. And this is how I rated them in terms of their layering capabilities. I'm going to mention this fact, none of the sunscreen pilled on me. I used a lot of different moisturizer in combination with the sunscreen and I also used one sunscreen over the other. All of the sunscreen passed on the pilling test for me and my skin type. So if you do face filling with any of the sunscreen, do let me know in the comment box below. The next criteria is something that people think it is common for a sunscreen to do, but it is 2022 and white cast in a sunscreen I think it is very minimal, especially in today's age. In terms of white cast, none of the sunscreen has any form of white cast, but it depends on what skin tone you have. Now on my skin tone, which is around like NC32, NC35, sometimes NC38, all of the sunscreen didn't give me any kind of white cast, but this is the rating I gave it. In terms of the texture, a little bit of whiteness that they have, in descending order, the first being the most, the last being the least. Now coming on to the most important part of this video, which is the ingredient list. I'm going to go a little bit deep especially in this criteria and I'm going to read them as well. I'm going to only talk about the filters itself. The first one being the Fave Beauty. In terms of filters, it has oxynoxate, avobenzone, benzophenone 3 and titanium oxide. All of them are old gen filters. Coming out of the Derma Co one, the ingredient list is absolutely same. Oxynoxate, avobenzone, benzophenone 3, titanium oxide, but it also has zinc oxide as an added sunscreen filter. Coming out of the Earth Rhythm one, it has Tina Sorbes, Juvenal A+, and zinc oxide amazing filters and I really love them. Coming on to the Twoksh one, it has a combination of new gen and old gen filters. Castina Sorb S and Uvenal A+, including Octinoset and Ubisorb Hep, which is a UVB filter. Coming on to this invisible sunscreen, I'm very disappointed in terms of the filters. It has Octocrylene, Octinoset and Avobenzone. Okay filters, but I think they should have included new gen filters. They nail the texture, but in terms of filters, they lagged a little bit behind. Coming on to the last sunscreen in the list, which is from Pulp, and I'm also again disappointed in the filters that they have used. Octocrylene, Avobenzone, and Humusalate. Mm. And that's it. So in terms of filters, this is the rating that I have given to these six sunscreen. First being the best one, last being the least. Now the next criteria is application time. Most of us don't really have that time and that luxury to blend and blend and blend a sunscreen for about like five minutes. All of us just want a sunscreen that is like a moisturizer, top it off and then just good to go without any form of white cast. And application time is a huge criteria, especially for me because I'm very impatient. And this is the rating that I have given it to them in terms of their application time. The first one taking the most amount of time and the last one taking the least. Next criteria is wearability. Now wearability is something that I have combined all of the criteria that I've mentioned before such as texture, white cast, layering and obviously application type. I've combined those. Wearability is something that is very personal and for my skin type which is combination. This is the rating that I have given it to them. The first one being my favorite. But coming on to the protection. Now protection is something that I as a consumer cannot judge and only if you do in vitro testing on each of the individual sunscreens, then only you can actually see who is the best and who is the least. The only sunscreen that I know is tested is the Earth Rhythm one because they claim. If you are not sure what is SPF and PA, basically these are the protection it gives you. Normally SPF something, SPF 50 or SPF 40, any type of SPF rating is the amount of UVB protection that you are getting. And the PA rating, for example, PA plus or PA 4 plus is, is the amount of UVA protection you are getting. So if you are getting SPF protection and the PA protection, both of them combined gives you a broad spectrum protection. And this is the rating that I have given it to them according to the
the HP of rating or the PE rating or the clinical tested that have been done or any of the sunscreen. First one is my absolute go to. Now the last and the most important criteria, which is price. All of the sunscreen falls under the budget of under thousand rupees, and some of them are affordable. Some of them fall under like a budget of three hundred rupees. And in terms of the pricing. the type of ingredients they are using the type of sunscreen filters they are using the type of texture this is the rating that i have given it to them of how much bang for buck you are getting from these sunscreen the first one being the best the last one being the least so these were all the criteria and all the ratings that i have given it to these sunscreen obviously skincare is very subjective and i can't really say what is the best sunscreen out there or what is the best sunscreen among them if you ask me i think orthrhythm is the best sunscreen according to me because firstly of the pricing it is very affordable and it also uses new gen filters it is also in vitro or clinically tested and i think the least is a pulp one because it is super expensive it doesn't has any new gen filters even the filter they are using is very like eh not really up to my liking and i don't think you should pay about like 1000 rupees for just the texture but at the same time i really like the sunscreen because it also acts as a primer and it also minimizes the appearance of your pore which a pore minimizing primer does so it somehow justifies the price if you want to replace your primer and buy a multitasking product if you think like that i think it is a very affordable product but again sunscreen is very subjective so choose one according to the criteria that i have judged them upon and you can choose one according to your needs your concerns and your skin type now before ending this video i wanted to mention these three facts sunscreen is something that you should not apply just like a moisturizer you should take enough and apply it because if you don't apply enough you won't get that SPF 50 or the claimed SPF that they are really claimed for so you should apply 1 quarter teaspoon of sunscreen for your face and your neck so for me it is like three fingers or actually like four fingers full of sunscreen on my face neck and decollete area the next point that i really wanted to mention is that you should also apply sunscreen on the back of your neck or any other parts of your body which is exposed to the sunlight such as your hands and your legs and thirdly you should always apply and reapply sunscreen every 2 hours throughout the day so hey guys this was my sunscreen wars let me know how you think in the comment box below like this video if you like my content share this video to any of your friends and lastly subscribe to my channel hit on the bell notification and i will see you in the next video so bye bye and take care